your local news source. This is breaking news. It is 7.59 and we are going back to that uh, breaking news of a child in critical condition. We've learned that the child is at Riley Hospital for Children after there was a hit and run on the city's far east side. This is a live look at the scene right now. It happened around 6.45 this morning on Mithoffer Road. Kevin Rodderman is there uh, speaking with what appears to be an officer right there at the scene. Uh, Kevin, what have you been able to find out? And it sounds like you're about to get word from police. That's right, yes. Uh, officer Simone Burris with IMP has just stepped up to the camera. We'll see if we can get some informa new information on this scene. You all good to go? Uh, yep. Yeah. If anything, we'll, we'll extend it because we're live on air right now. Okay. Could you briefly go into what all happened out here this morning? Uh, so just before 7 a.m., IMPD East District officers were dispatched to Midhoffer Road and Penrith Drive on report of a child struck. When officers arrived, they located a young girl lying in the middle of the road, in the road that had been struck. Uh, that young child has been transported to Riley Hospital and is currently listed in serious condition. The family has been notified and is on their way to the hospital. Currently, preliminary information leads investigators to believe uh, that the young lady was crossing the street to get to her bus stop. That is when a red vehicle struck her and fled the scene northbound on Midhoffer Road. We are asking anyone in the area with information regarding this incident to contact uh, IMPD so that we are able to get that information about what occurred here today and that we are also able to get information on the vehicle and the driver that fled the scene. It is very imperative that we get this information because currently we have a young lady that is fighting for her life to survive. Um, no child deserves uh, to be struck. No child deserves to be left in the middle of the road uh, with no medical aid rendered to her. It is very unfortunate that our community has to uh, not only witness what occurred here today, but has to deal with the aftermath of what happens to this young lady. It is imperative that our community comes together in this time and that they are able to help this family uh, receive some type of comfort in, in this time. So we are, we are depending on our community right now. So all we know about the vehicle is just a red vehicle, not SUV, not just just a red vehicle, that is all we know. Direction the vehicle in here? Northbound. Northbound on Midhoffer. Was there a school bus uh, here at the scene with lights on at all when this all happened? No. no. Not that we were made aware of. Do you have an approximate age of the child? The child is, uh, we're still working together an exact age, but she's approximately between the ages of 10 to 13, so somewhere in that age range. Do you know what uh, school she attends? Uh, currently she attends the AJB Academy that's located in the 3600 block of German Church Road. Do you know exactly where the bus stop was in relation to where we are right now? I am unaware of where the bus stop is, but my guess is that she was crossing the street from from this way headed over across the street. I am unclear if, if that is correct, but she was crossing the street. Were there any uh, uh, witnesses and uh, do you know how many may have been here? We don't know who was in the area. That's why it's important if somebody saw something, somebody was probably on their way to work. Uh, they probably don't know if they even saw the red car, if they were headed northbound on Midhoffer. But somebody saw something, so we need the community to come together and give us that information. Is there anything about that red vehicle that, um, for someone that... Um, what should be, they be on the lookout in terms of that vehicle? Would, would there be visible damage on it? Oh. Uh, maybe. maybe. Uh, a person was struck, uh, so we're only assuming and we're hoping that there's some type of damage uh, to the front of that vehicle, side of that vehicle, some type of, of damage that says that that vehicle was in an accident. We're also hoping that the person that actually struck the child will feel the compassion in their heart to come forward and turn themselves in. So it's not just on the community, but it is on that individual that stuck, struck the child to come forward and turn themselves in. And that was my next question. What is your message to the driver of that vehicle, whoever it may be this morning? Whoever you are, a child is currently fighting for their lives. She did not deserve that. And we just want you to do the right thing. Do the right thing for this child, not even for yourself. Do the right thing for this child and turn yourself in immediately. 
And can you describe what's happening behind you? Right now we are just getting the very latest in what has turned into a hit and run there. Um, We did learn that it is a young child between the ages of 10 and 13 on their way to a bus stop just crossing the road. If you see a red vehicle, not a lot to go off on as description wise, but a red vehicle possibly with some damage, you're urged to call police. Learned a few things there initially reported as critical condition, according to that officer now in serious condition. So that would be uh, somewhat more optimistic in terms of the condition. Went to Andrew J. Brown Academy on Midhoffer, just about a mile north of there. There will be questions here. Where was the bus stop? Did the child cross the way it was planned? And should there be a reconfiguration of that? So we'll stay on this story, not just in the next few minutes, but through the day here on News 8.